Hi everyone, it's Judy. Uh, I just feel the need to make an update to my last video that I did on Monday, uh, May 20... Well, today's the 26th, it had been the 24th. Uh, I need to clarify something because it seems I've gotten a lot of comments and um, some of them uh, I want to address. Uh, first of all, I want to clarify about the cornbread and dinner roll comment. Obviously, uh, I either did not uh, pronunciate <laughs> efficiently, but I did say that I can no longer eat cornbread. I do not like the texture. I do not like the way it feels going down in my esophagus, and I don't like the way it feels sitting in my pouch. So I have not had cornbread since Christmas, which was five months ago. As for the dinner roll, it is not an everyday occurrence. It is on occasion. I do not have it every night after dinner. I do not have it once a week. My last dinner roll was three weeks ago at my most favorite restaurant. I, there, I kind of take offense to the fact that some of the comments uh, refer to the fact that I have no willpower or restraint. Um, let me just say, gone are the days where I go to McDonald's and have one of their breakfasts with a double order of hash browns. Gone are the days where I have Diet Pepsi. Gone are the days where I go back for seconds. Gone are the days when I pile up my plate full of food. Gone are the days where I eat cookies, donuts, cakes, pastries, sweets whatsoever. Gone are the days when I eat after 7.30. Gone are the days of dessert after dinner. I think and I find that the comments of no restraint or willpower I find kind of upsetting. I have gone from a size 26W down to a size 20 so far in my journey. I think I am being successful in my journey. Yes, my surgeon is unconventional uh, compared to many of your surgeons. My surgeon does not require me to keep a food journal. My surgeon um, does not give me large fills. He does them in small increments of 0.5 cc at a time. So, yes, it's unconventional, but that doesn't mean I'm doing anything wrong. I don't need, I, I'm sorry that my videos seem to upset some people. Um, I don't need to be saved and I don't need to be criticized, although I do know it's coming from the heart. It's not meaning to be offensive. It's not meaning to be judgmental. But this is my journey. I am documenting my journey. And yes, there are gonna be bumps in the road. Life is gonna get in the way. But that doesn't mean you're gonna be a failure. And I think there's many people out there like me who find it, I won't even say difficult because I don't find this journey to be that difficult. I understand where structure plays a big part in um, your journey. I do. And I understand the structure. My husband is a very structured person and I love him very much and I understand that he has to do it a certain way because if he doesn't he is out of his comfort zone so I understand that so I understand when some people say that you have to do this you have to keep your portions within a cup I can understand that because that's how structured you are I on the other hand I have I like structure in my life but not to the point where it's controlling me so I am the type of person where I do not want to log my food every day. I do not want to weigh my food. I do not want to uh, portion it in a one cup container. Because to me, 
that is out of my comfort zone. I want to be able, and this is the part where the band is going to kick in. It's, it, I'm not at that point yet, so, but I'm getting there. I'm getting to the point where the portions are smaller. So, for the, the documenting and the weighing and the, the, the putting it in a one cup container, that's fine for people who like that structure. I don't like it. And I'm sure there are many people out there like me who are going to find it, that their weight loss is going a little bit slower. But we're still going to get there. It's just not the way other people are doing it. So I'm turning 53 next week. Am I better off than I was when I turned 52? You bet your sweet bippy I am. Am I going to be better when I turn 54? I'm not a psychic, but I think so. So just because my journey is different doesn't mean that I'm failing. I think I'm doing very well. I've lost 30 pounds. The, the average you should be losing is between one to two pounds. Some people say 0. 0.5 to two pounds. I am 29 weeks out and 30 pounds down, I'm averaging a pound a week. Even my surgeon, and I know many of you disagree with my surgeon, but he even says if you lose a pound a week, that's 52 pounds in a year. And that's pretty damn good. But I know that a lot of us want to to lose 100 pounds in eight months, in 10 months. And for a lot of us, that's not gonna happen. I, my journey is my journey. And just because it's different doesn't mean I'm going to fail at it. So I don't need saving. I don't need to be told I have to weigh everything and make sure everything fits into a one cup t container. I mean, I, I'll get there. So I do things a little odd, you know? Odd people in the world make other people look normal. So if I'm odd, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with where I'm at in my journey right now. It's not a race. So I just want to say that I'm, I'm sorry if my video Monday was very upsetting to some people. Um, I did not intend it to be upsetting. I'm just documenting my journey and I'm sure other people are going to find that they hit little bumps in the road. But it's okay. Life isn't going to end. You just get right back and you do your rules. And yes, I follow the rules. It's just the portion control, and that's where I expect my band to kick in. I do my end. I want the band to do its part, and its part is to control my portions. And is it doing it? Yes. To the extent that I want it at the moment? No. But it's going to get there. So... I do find it offensive when people say that I show no willpower or restraint. But I understand where it's coming from and I hold no one any ill feelings. So, um, but if my people find my people, if my subscribers are finding my journey hard to watch, <laughs> I will keep them on my computer for myself. Uh, but I will continue to watch you. I will continue to comment. I will continue to be encouraging and supporting. And I will try not to be critical. And that's all I ask from everybody else is, you know, don't be so critical. It's okay. Everybody have a great week. Bye.